Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about a sailor pen and if you watch my videos about sailors, you know I love them. This one is kind of a special one because it is the Sailor Mini and it is actually very, very mini. It is a tiny sailor pen with a gold nib and it is really funky and I'd like to show you. So let's switch a shot and go look at this pen. All right. Here we are with a close-up of this Sailor Mini that I believe is uh, or was discontinued in the U.S. market but still continues to be sold in other places and this specific one is a pen style memo and I believe it's just made for a certain department store um, by Sailor. Now this is a really small pen and I want to show you it compared to a Twisby AL Mini. Um, and as you can see, the Twisby is quite a lot bigger um, and uncapped, it is also quite a lot bigger. And um, I can use the Sailor Mini unposted, but I don't really use this um, other Twisby Mini. I use it unposted. The Sailor, I don't use unposted. And I'll show you in a second how short it is if you actually use it unposted. But first, let's look at the details. The finial is a white dot, the clip is a very classic clip, and it is very functional. I like this clip, it's not too stiff, but also not too loose. And then on the cap band, there's an engraving, and as I said before, it says pen style, memo, if it can actually focus on that. I don't know if it's doing it, but you gotta believe me, it's this pencil memo. And all the trimmings are silver. Uh, sorry about the inky fingers, but that is life as a pen person. And then right here, we have the threads for the cap to post on, and then a silver or rhodium trim band. Now, screw cap right here, and this is how you can use it on posted. I do not have big hands, uh, and this pen is just tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, this is one that I have to post, and when you post it, it becomes a very decently sized pen. I would say it is a little top heavy, but I think you have to take that, um, if you want to use a small mini pen, you have to just take that for granted. Now, this is basically a good sized pen. Um, if you look at the nib, if it's gonna focus. This does not have the standard Sailor engraving. That is probably because it was made for um, that department store that I read about. So this is the research I've done. That's what I've read about. Um, it actually has the Sailor, oh, it's a Kobe nib. Sailor and then Kobe right there and it's a 14K nib. It's really hard to focus on. As you can see, there's some ink on the nib. But it says Kobe, and it's a Sailor, and it says 14K. This is an extra fine nib. It's marked here on the side. That's normal for Sailor nibs. And this extra fine is actually an extra fine. Um, I've been kind of struggling with writing with this because it is so fine. But that is my own problem, and that is not the fault of the pen. It's just a really fine nib. Now, this pen is it going? Um, is of course threaded and then there's a converter in here and I should ask Brownie what converter this is because I am amazed that this fits this pen. Um, it's really great. Uh, I thought I inked it up with dark lilac, let me dark lilac, but because it's such a fine nib it's really hard to see if it's actually that ink. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, two pens inked with dark lilac, assuming this is dark lilac, let me dark lilac, in a second. Now, I enjoy this pen. I wish it wasn't black, um, but I guess that's just the pen. Um, and it doesn't really change anything about the nib experience or the writing experience. Um, and of course the quality of the pen, because it does feel like a real quality pen. And um, posting is super secure, of course, because of the threaded um, system, which I'm glad they did that. Um, because otherwise you would have a flying cap probably. And since you need to post it, like, this is a good system. Nib-wise, as I said, not my favorite nib size. Um, I do generally appreciate fine nibs, but extra fine nibs are just really hard for me to write with. 
because I like a really wet ink flow. Anyway, Sailor Mini. I'm just gonna call it the Mini because it is a Mini, um, even though it is the Spen Pen Style Memo one. Um, this is a 14K nib, and it's an extra fine. And uh, as long, like, the more I write with it, the nicer it gets, or the more I get a feel for it. But it is a very fine nib. And it has that feedbacky feel of Sailor nibs, but because it, it's, an ex it's an extra fine, like, you would have that feedbacky feel, I think, with most nibs. Um, but it is, it is, for some people, I think it would be perfect because it is so fine and it doesn't, like, soak the page with ink. For someone like me who likes soaking pages with ink, this is not my favorite nib. It writes well. Um, it's not the nib's fault. It is my fault. So, yeah, it is a, is a good writer. Now, let me quickly grab a different pen that is inked with dark lilac. So, I... I I thought I inked it up with dark lilac. Um, so this is my medium pelican ruby red with dark lilac. So I, I'm I'm like only 60% sure this is dark lilac. This and I know this is dark lilac because that's the steady ink in this pen. So I'm gonna write without it po without posting it apparently which is not a great experience. Let me dark lilac. Yeah, you really need to post this because it sits in this hollow. It's not very comfortable, if I'm honest. So yeah, that is the Sailor Mini, which is a really interesting, cool, tiny, tiny pen. And um, I've noticed that I've been doing a lot of pocket pen reviews. I've noticed that I would probably still clip this to a shirt instead of putting it in my pocket. But that is very personal. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Um, I'm trying to do proper research on these pens uh, because they're not mine and I don't know everything about them. Um, but I try to look stuff up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.